Tim, talk to me in really practical terms. I want to give more grace to my spouse. Give me like two practical ways that I do that. Is that a fair question? Can you do that? I, I think if you if you capture two vital points in a particular day with the right words and the right actions, it's amazing what happens in between. And that's the very first moments of the day and the last moments of the day. And no matter what's happened in between, if 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 we are kind, pleasant, and encouraging to our spouse first thing in the morning when they wake up, and no matter what's gone through, we remind them how much we love them and how much we're grateful. Now, let me put you on the spot there. Do you do that with Darcy? You get up in the morning. Do you do you have a little routine that you do to make that happen? Yeah. Yeah. In fact, uh, our routine at the end of the day, once we're in bed, we just kind of spoon together and I wrap my arms around her and I thank the Lord for her. And I thank the Lord for the day we just lived and with all the junk that was in it. And we look forward to tomorrow. Help us have help this woman sleep well tonight and get get good rest to take on tomorrow. So, Tim, and, uh, that's that's the kind of thing that makes every other guy listening to this right now feel guilty. Like, oh, <laughs> I can I, I don't do that. <laughs> you know, that's well, not my thing. Well, I know. I know. But there's you know, there, there's certain things we all do um, because we made them a habit. We all brush our teeth before we go to bed. Yeah. Well, just put that right up there with that priority. Just say, I just want to, you know, or what, whatever she responds best to you, your, your, your spouse might, uh, let's say, you know, there's, let's say women are listening to us and your spouse might just respond to meaningful touch or rubbing his back or something. Just say, Hey, I'm just so grateful that when I go to sleep at night, you're the one next to me. And I want to, and, and Lord, thank you for giving me this man. I appreciate him. Appreciate you. Amen. Boom. First thing in the morning, you know, uh, you know, when the alarms go off, you just, I just, once again, throw my arm around her or rub, rub her back or just say, Hey, honey, it's a good day. Glad you're, you're the one that I'm taking this on with. Let's go for it. That kind of a thing. Then we might have a horrendously lousy day as a couple just because of what's coming at us. And we're, we walk around on feet of clay like everybody else, but it's amazing what those bookends do. And then, and then the other, the other, you said two things. The other thing is be quick to own your mess. You know, when, 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 when you, you're getting in the middle of a fight or you do something wrong and you realize that part of the main reason this is going on is because I'm an idiot. Just say so. So let's say, hold it. Stop, honey. I, I'm an idiot. I'm sorry. I'm all wrong here. This, this is dumb. I'm not going to fight this thing to win. This is stupid. I'm wrong. Forgive me. It's amazing how when people just own their stuff, the other person's more inclined to own theirs. Absolutely. And that kind of vulnerability begets more vulnerability. So, Tim, thanks so much for being with us. You're welcome.